technology sucked back in 2005. All right, it didn't suck all that much, but for learning, yeah, this was the best you could get with your money. And it cost a pretty penny back in 2005. This is the IBM ThinkPad X31. Magnesium alloy casing, really durable, super ultra light powerful for back in the day. Intel Centrino, wireless, yada, yada, yada. But look at the build quality and the design. It falls flat. Oh my goodness. But hey, it didn't have a stylus. Didn't even have a touchpad. But that was okay. I love this little thing. Um, no stylus meaning you can't really write notes when you're in physics class or calculus. As you could never keep up with just a pen and paper. So I did it the old school way. Only pulled this out when I need it to do some programming. Eh, 2005. Let's get that out of the way. Uh, fast forward a little bit, five years, 2010. ASUS came out with the E Note. E Note is part of the E family, as you know. Uh, you may have heard of the EPC, popular little computers back in the day. But this is something really different. Uh, you've probably never seen this. In fact, it was never sold in North America. This was mostly available in Asia. Uh, this is an e-ink display with a stylus. Yay, that means you can now take notes, handwriting notes. But the only problem was it was a sluggish. It was built on old Linux OS. It did have uh, Evernote integration. You could upload to the cloud. It has Wi-Fi and uh, micro SD card. So you could do a few things with it, read your books, take notes, yada, yada. Uh, all in monochrome and had an okay battery life. Heck, even had a camera on the back and aluminum. Well, well done. But meh, let's get that out of the way. Now, fast forward a little bit more 2011, that's when Google came out with the old Chrome OS and Chromebooks. Really targeting the educational sector and the use cases for students. Well, it was all good. Didn't have that much, you know, uh, touch screen support or good stylus back in the day. And a little bit, you know, later on, they, when they eventually did come up with that, 2013, 15, we started getting more traction. And so the school district either had the choice of uh, uh, iPads with the uh, iOS or Chromebook tablets. And this is 2019. This is what Google and Asus gave us. This is the Asus CT100, a Chromebook ta tablet. And it actually has a stylus built in right over here. And I'm gonna do show you a little bit more later, but heck, it's so durable. Look at that construction. I would say there's so much ruggedness and Asus claims it's military tested. It could even drop it maybe, I don't know, 10 meters there. I don't know. I don't dare right now. But I would say, hey, that rivals my ThinkPad pretty well. And back then, that was a physical hard drive in the ThinkPad. I dropped from the table to bare concrete floor twice, and it survived. Amazing. Well, I bet this will do even better with its design, with solid state drives, and a pretty good Gorilla Glass screen. But let's take a look at it and just see how far educational computing has come. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Evil Techie. Today we're checking out the ASUS CT100. So as you saw before, technology really sucked back in 2005. I'm kidding. I love my ThinkPad, especially the IBM ThinkPad. So nostalgic back in the day. And this is the CT100 in 2019. It's a Chromebook tablet trying to find, find its way into the edu educational sector. I think it's targeting the younger generation, especially the kids who are K to maybe eighth grade. Uh, why I say that? It's a rugged tablet. By rugged, I mean there's rubber and plastic pretty durable plastic all around, but mostly all the impact points are rubberized. So that means if you drop it, it might withstand that drop from the table to the floor, if it's a concrete floor. There's not a lot of cushioning around the edge of the screen, so it'll prevent some of that from shattering. Hardware-wise, 
It's pretty, pretty uh, plain Jane. There's a little bit of a grip, a texture grip on the back. Sleek looking, I think it's really uh, quite nice looking. Not colorful, not exotic, but the point of it is it's built rugged without having a case on. And that's the goal of it. It's so slim and easy to carry, lightweight. And the bonus is it's rugged built in, so you don't need to carry a big case with it. You just slide in your backpack and then ready to go. The glass is really scratch resistant, a little bit um, you know, uh, ophiophilic, so that means it's you know, a little bit fingerprint water resistant. Not that you want to pour water over it, no, that's not what I meant. Um, but it is a Chrome OS with a twist. It has a stylus built in, and this is a Wacom stylus. That means it's got good accuracy, good prediction, and really smooth handwriting. As soon as I pulled this stylus out, and I do have a little gripe about how hard it was to get out, maybe it's because uh, my hands are a little bit bigger than this men, uh, you know, target audience. But as soon as I pulled it out, it has this stylus menu that pops out automatically. And this stylus menu is pretty interesting. There you could capture region, so take a snapshot of just a section. Capture whole screen, you could create notes. This is what typically most people would do. There is a assistant built in. So this is a Google product, Google Assistant built in. I'll get into that. There's a laser pointer. You could point to something and have someone read alone. So help them focus. There's a magnifying glass. Um, let's get back to Assistant. If I was reading something or if I was looking at a picture, I didn't really know what I was looking at or didn't understand the meaning of a word, I would just hit Assistant, circle what I was looking at, and Google will automatically look that up for you with the power of internet, with the power of Google search engine. And of course, Google is well known for its object recognition, picture recognition, even facial recognition, as it's done in Google Photos. Um, and most importantly, the whole search engine has indexed so much knowledge behind it that it could tell you what you're really looking at without any judgment. And that's the point. You don't have to feel ashamed of asking something really simple just because you don't know it. So when kids have this, they really feel empowered to learn and not feel ashamed when they're asking something they feel it could be very simple. And that's a really good thing. I think these days kids learn at different paces and technology is here to help them bring them up to the same level and even help them accelerate. And everyone learns at different paces. And this is what Sal Khan has told us from Cal, uh, Khan Academy. Every kid learns at a different pace. So you need to empower them with technology so they can learn on their own without feeling judged or left behind. And I believe this is really a good tool that can help you do that. Just that Google Assistant built in alone really does a good job. And um, let's see how we do, we, um, that's how it does with uh, creating a note. <clears throat> creating a note is really simple and uh, you could pick your color, your size of pen, you could even use ink or highlighter, you could use eraser, but write what you need and it's pressure sensitive being a Wacom stylus. So that means over a thousand pressure points and really detects how hard you're pressing down, how easy you're going, how light and smooth it goes. Um, it's really smooth, I would have to say. And just erasing it, it's object oriented, so you're erasing one by one. And really cool. So that means it's easy, quick to take notes with. Remember back in 2005 when I told you I was taking notes with a paper and pen? I feel like if I had this, I could take those physics and calculus notes with just this tablet. And that's how fast it could handle it. Back in the day, if I had this, I probably would have been an A student. All right, maybe not so. <laughs> um, just like all Chrome OS or Chromebooks, this has the power of Google Sheets, Google Docs, and be able to save everything onto the cloud. You could have uh, multiple users log in. So you could even share this device with multiple use, uh, students. So for school districts, this is definitely something good. It's rugged, it will last. 
and students can take what they need with them and share the device. Most importantly is um, it's budget oriented. It has a micro USB slot. It only has got a 32 gig built in, but I believe that's enough to store the apps and whatnot on it. And for all the documents that's going onto the cloud, all you need is Wi-Fi. If you do need to get multimedia involved, micro SD card, you know, is really cheap now. 128 gig, two of them goes for under, I think, uh, $50 for even really fast one, the Extreme Plus at Costco. Hardware wise, again, it's really well built, rugged back. And I really like the USB port on the side and it's a USB-C port with power delivery charging. And I charged it with my 18 watt uh, Pixel XL charger and it charged pretty fast. This has enough battery to last, last the whole day. You know, eight hours of continuous use, no problems. So just when the students are going home, charge it up, it's great for uh, the next day. Or it could probably last two days if they use it, you know, uh, occasionally during the day. It, um, interesting enough, has a USB-C with display port alternative mode out. So what that means is I can hook it up to an external monitor that's USB-C, like this one here. This is AOC 15.6 inch USB-C portable monitor that I have reviewed in the channel as well. So I could plug it in and use this monitor as an extension, whether as a mirror or as a secondary monitor showing different screen. So as an extended monitor. So I got it on a mirror mode and it powers it right from the tablet just with a single cable connection. Uh, you could still change the orientation when it's plugged in or you could lock it. You could also set it to again to extend to full HD display take up the whole room here because this does have a different screen uh, ratio. The only problem I did notice is there's a lot of horizontal jitter. If you look at it with your naked eye, you can see the jitter happening. I haven't noticed that jitter when I plug this external monitor to other devices like my Dell XPS 13. Uh, so this is the first time noticing it. Uh, don't know whether it's a compatibility issue or issue with the tablet. This is something I'll have to you know, contact ASUS tech support and find out. Uh, but it's, at least it supports it, pretty interesting. Although what I really would recommend is using the uh, Chromecast function and just casting it to a Chromecast Ultra or just Chromecast. It does have a pretty decent power and uh, uh, CPU. I would say it doesn't lag for most of the function you need to do for going on to Chrome, uh, going on to Khan Academy, or using some of the apps you're uh, running. I tried running uh, SimCity, uh, the game, uh, Android app game, just see how it does. It took a little bit longer to load than my old, you know, uh, a Snapdragon 810 phone. Uh, so this is slower than that. I would say maybe it's about a Snapdragon 660 speed, uh, slower than 670 for sure. So it's not the fastest, but it does its job. It's $330 right now on Amazon. Uh, most of that cost is, goes into the build quality and the stylus solution. I would say, you know, Consider yourself um, saving some money if you just go with this stylus, uh, this, this tablet. You don't need to buy external case, you don't need to buy a screen protector. I think by itself it's already pretty rugged, well protected, and that's the goal of it. Keep it slim, keep it very portable, lightweight for the kids to carry. Something they wouldn't be hesitate to just pull out and utilize. Uh, again, I think it's a great device. The only interesting thing is uh, it comes with a really bulky charging cable. This is a USB-C tablet, but it's got this power brick. Okay, it's not the most you know sleek and portable device, 
but this does have a merit. It's got longer cable, one on this side, one on this side. So you could extend to the wall if you're sitting at your desk, your classroom. And this does reach a little further than your typical cell phone charger. So I would say, yeah, it charges fast and has a longer reach. So it does make sense and it's harder to lose. So for little kids, this might make it uh, make more sense. Plus they include these with every Chromebook. So just keep it consistent. Overall, that's the CT100. Again, this is from ASUS. And I think it's actually a pretty good purchase. I'd be happy to pass this to my son for him to start learning from Khan Academy and just play around with it for multimedia. So check out our next review again at Evil Techie.